came in, the air went out And every shadow filled up with doubt I don't know who you think you are But before the night is through I want to do bad things with you Last one, the last countdown video. What are you doing? She has a book that none of us have, and it makes me mad. <laughs> so this is it. This is the last of the countdowns. Next Sunday is the premiere. Yay! So, this show. so first, I have a confession to make. Um, <laughs> I will not be watching the premiere the night of the premiere. A couple of months ago, I won on a Facebook radio station contest some tickets to go see a concert in Cincinnati, and so I had to make a decision. I didn't know it was going to be the same night that True Blood premiered, but... We figured it out at the Elton John concert. Yes. We figured out that it was the 26th, and I had to decide, and because I can't DVR the concert, but I can DVR the show... Which, no, we're watching the show at my house anyway. Yes. And she also begged. Mm -hmm. And I'll be out of town for this concert, so I'm not going to get home till probably 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, and they're not going to stay up that late and wait for me to I watch would. the show. But, she would, yeah. But, uh, um, tell them what you had to do with David. <laughs> you tell. Call in every favor that she's <coughs> ever done for David. Remind him of everything. Everything in 25 years that I've ever done. <laughs> For him or Missy to get him to agree. Um, my brother wasn't happy either. But. So, we are not going to actually watch the first episode so, until the next day, day. the 27th. Um, that same day, apparently, episode 2 will be available. Here's the thing. We're not watching it. We're not watching it until the following Sunday. We like our every Sunday deal. It is a family thing with us. Yes. That we get together every Sunday. We have dinner. We video. We talk about the show. And this goes by quick enough. Yes. We already have seen the first eight minutes, which I almost really wish we wouldn't have done now. But we've seen, we only, we did it for our blog and because we were dying. But we've seen the first eight minutes and they're only like 55 minutes long. Yes. So, that's the first thing that I wanted to say. Another thing, we have a new intro. Did you notice? Um, I've been working for a while on an idea about how to start each video with the same intro so it looked professional. So I made this one and I think it pretty much says it all. This is all the people other than mom who refuses to be part of any of this. Um, these are all the people that we watch the show with every, every week. Um, she and I and our brother Brandon and her husband David. We all talk about the show religiously. We watch it without fail. We are um, a bit obsessed. Just a little bit. Now, the next thing I wanted to be sure and mention, I promised, and I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly, but I promised Melody Picard, who is one of the moderators of the Bookies Love True Blood group, that I would mention the group. We love this group, um, this discussion board. We get a lot of information from them. They actually get information that I don't know how they get. Yes. Um, yes, they find everything. So, uh, we wanted to be sure and mention them. If you're on your Facebook, up in the search bar on Facebook, you can just type in Bookies True Blood. And if you're a fan of the books and the show, this is great, great, great discussion group. Um, third, all of our videos go on our blog, which we have been working on in between Season 3 and Season 4. Um, so if you're interested, I will put our blog down at the bottom of the screen here. Um, we'd love to have some more followers. We are now a Buddy TV featured blog, which is awesome. And people watch us in Russia. Yes, apparently. Um, and we also have a YouTube channel where we put all of our videos. We have all our videos there from Season 3 as well. So, Which there will be many more videos this year than there were last year. Yes. So just very quickly, it is our True Blood Fan Club dot blogspot dot com but at, we will put it at the bottom and we will put it at the bottom and our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash 
our True Blood fan club. So check us out. And also, at the end of every countdown video, I put a little funny picture, whatever I found, for the week. Um, the end of this one, I'm going to put a video that I did. Some of you have probably already seen it. It is my tribute to the choreographers of True Blood and the dancing on the show, which cracks me up. So... <laughs> Which that video and the Suki and Eric video were really just for me. She made them, I think, just to well, Suki and Eric de definitely. That was that was uh, that present. was for you. Yeah, and then everybody just really liked it. We got more views on that than we did any other video. We right. Met. So she did the musical, um, and um, it is to amuse me. And she called me and. You know, it's like midnight, and she's supposed to have been doing her homework. And really, what she's been doing is finding ways to make me laugh a lot about tree blood. And speaking of homework, one more thing I wanted to say because I was thinking earlier today about okay, so next year I'll have you know, I want to try to schedule more time in between this season and next season to follow along with some of the things we find out and early information and things. And I realized that when the next season starts. I will have graduated from college. So she already have, has one degree. Yes, yeah, so I have one degree. I'll have my second one when we start the yeah, season we'll next year. Time. So I should have more time to do a lot more things next year. Okay, so we are continuing. This is part two of our other characters. We did top 12 Eric moments. We did Lafayette. We did um, Pam and Jason. We did Jessica and Hoyt. Last week we did um, from 24 to 13. Top 24 to 13 of the other characters, and this is our number 12 to number 1. Again, these are not in order other than our number, number one. 1. They were the only ones we picked to be, this is definitely got to be my number 1. So, we are going to start with Missy's number 12, and do you want to set that up? <laughs> um, it's about Talbot. It's Talbot and Russell. Um, and it was last season, um, obviously, and um, I just watch it, and then I'll talk about it. Russell has just finally got, I was going to say convinced, but he really kind of coerced. Yeah, Sophie Ann to marry him. Um, well, he forced her. Yeah, yeah I mean, basically, yeah, he forced her. He coerced her into agreeing to marry him, and he has it, brought, it brought her, her to the mansion. In Mississippi. And Talbot is not... The most thrilled. No, they and, and he tells Talbot. Talbot. And so this is what Talbot says. Okay, so here is at Missy's number 12. Where am I supposed to put my bird? Hadley! You never said she was going to live with us. She's my wife, Talbot. We just acquired the state of Louisiana. I thought you would have been excited. Excited? Franklin's brains won't wash off the guest linens. I had to bury werewolves under the gazebo and that sooky bit steak Lorena. I've had enough excitement, thank you. He's just so funny. I love how he talks, and I love his accent, too. Yes. I, I don't know what it is. I think Missy liked Talbot most of all in the other characters of season three. Like, I, you know, was a little Franklin obsessed. Missy really liked A little liked Franklin Talbot. obsessed? Well, tell, he was so, um... I don't know. He was just, he was so funny. He was so over the top. He was like Jack if Jack was a vampire. Yeah, Jack from Will and Grace, by the way. He was just so funny, and he would just get so upset, and I just, and Russell was always just like, oh my God, shut him up. It just, I know that's how, you know, they had are. a great relationship, yes. Good, Very funny. Good um, chemistry. You have to admit that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, my number 12, we're taking a break from season three here for a minute and going back to season one. This is when um, Bill gave the speech for the um, descendants of the glorious dead, for Suki's Graham. Um, and one of the people at the speech asked him about his relative. So this is my number 12. My great-grandfather was in the 28th. I wonder if you might have known him. His name was Tolliver Humphreys. Tolliver Humphreys. <laughs> yes. I knew him very well. We fought together. Tolliver Humphreys was my friend. He was a brave man, perhaps to a fault. I dare say it contributed to his death. What happened? Were you there? I was. We were about 20 miles north of where I stand now. <coughs> Federals outnumbered us five to one. 
And they had better firepower as well. We spent much of the afternoon recovering the bodies of those we'd lost. There was a boy in our troop, no more than 13 or 14, who lay wounded in the middle of the field under poor cover. He called to us all day. He begged us to help him. He knew he would die if we didn't. I admit I considered shooting the boy myself just to shut him up. But Tolliver convinced me that would be an act of murder, not war. He told me God wanted him to rescue that boy. Oh, get him. I pleaded with him not to go, to think of his own wife and children back home. But he ran into that field like it was a cool spring day. And they shot him just as he reached the boy. It was obvious to us that he was beyond help. And then, after a while, the boy started screaming again. Okay, yeah, he became Jason at the end because, you know, Jason was in the middle of a, a V trip. But I loved that story. I thought it was beautifully shot and beautifully done and, and well spoken by Bill. And, and wouldn't that be so cool to be able to talk to somebody who knew um, your family members that you've never even been able to meet and stuff? That would be such a cool thing. Yes. Okay, Missy's number 11. We're going back to season 3 now. You know that after Talbot got killed, um, Russell put his heart and everything in a jar. All of his remains. Well, everything that he could get. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In like a really pretty jar. But it was still like, I don't know, it was like a candy dish almost. I mean, <laughs> and he was carrying it around with him because that was his Talbot. Um, and Suki. Suki wanted to know why. So she stuck at Fantasia with Russell while the other vampires are sleeping. And she's, she, this is when we started realizing <coughs> that Sook had become, some things were changing with her. With Sook, yeah. Okay, so here's Missy's number 11. Why are you carrying this around? It was the love of my life. This isn't him. It will be! You think you can bring him back to life? Of course not. Yes, you do. Somehow involving my blood? Fuck you. You want to You will not die here! <laughs> that laugh, and he's cussing her in some ancient language and everything. And she was, get, I mean, to me, that's all. That's uh, Suki wasn't like that in the beginning. No. She would have never done anything like that. No. And that and the other scene when her and Debbie Pelt are fighting are the two things that, two things last year that you were just like, okay, Sook has walked over to the other side now. A little bit. Yeah, she's starting to, she really is starting to meet Bill halfway to Vampire. So. Right. Okay, my number 11. I have the wrong one. Okay. My number 11 I almost didn't put any Franklin in this one, in today's, because I thought, you know, I had kind of overloaded everybody last week. This has to be there, though. And so she said, no, this has to be there, and I decided, the hell with it. I have no shame. I love Franklin, and I don't care who knows it. Frida. And this is funny anyway. <laughs> this is just hilarious. This was one of those scenes that we had to pause the TV because we thought it was so funny. <laughs> okay. So, Franklin has... Tara at Russell's mansion, and he's got her tied up. And, and don't say nothing else. Just wait no, until you after. Set it up. He's got her tied up, and Lafayette calls, right? Lafayette texted her. Yeah. And he wants to know why. This was this was one of the best scenes of season three. Yes. Okay, so here's my number 11. 